Hey guys, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to sew a really easy summer crop top. You won't need an overlocker for this project. All you'll need is a normal sewing machine that can do a zigzag stitch and some stretch fabric. So the stretch fabric that I'm using, is this really gorgeous pink one. It looks kind of red, but it is actually a deep pink. And this is a Ponte Roma. So you definitely need a stretch fabric to make this top because it's gonna stretch over our body. I personally prefer using a Ponte Roma instead of a jersey, but you can use any stretch fabric just bear in mind that if you use a thinner jersey fabric the top might actually be a bit more flimsy whereas this one will have a bit of a sturdier finish so to make this top all we have to do is draft a rectangle so the width of the rectangle is going to be your bust measurement minus 3.5 inches so my bust measurement is 33 inches and if i minus 3.5 that gives me 29.5 now for the height of the rectangle that's completely up to you this is just going to determine how much coverage you want over your bust if you are sewing a larger size you might want to increase this by an inch or so just to give you a bit more coverage so my final rectangle measures 29.5 inches wide and 14.5 inches high. And you'll just need one of those rectangles cut out of fabric, and that's what I have right here. It looks quite wide. This is gonna be smaller than your bust measurement, and that's because you've got negative ease in the top. So it's gonna be smaller, but when we put it on, it's gonna stretch over our body. But the first thing we're gonna do is fold the fabric in half with right sides together, and we're gonna pin along this edge. So now that I've pinned that in place all along, as you can see, we're gonna sew this at the sewing machine using a half an inch seam allowance and you need to use a zigzag stitch or any stretch stitch to make this project. So I've just sewn the bottom of the top and I'll just show you what the zigzag stitch looks like. You can just about see there that zigzag stitch along the edge. And again, that's really important because we need to make sure we're using a stretch stitch. So now that we've done that, we're gonna turn the top right side out by putting your arm through and just pulling it out. So it looks like this. And as you can see, the bottom now is completely concealed and that's where there's a folded edge. So now we wanna create the twist detail at the front. So like I just said, the folded edge that we just sewed is at the bottom. What we're gonna to wanna to do is put that in the middle of the fabric. So you wanna open up the top like this and roughly position this folded edge in the middle. So now you can see we've got the folded edge in the middle of the fabric and we're gonna to wanna to turn this around and we're gonna bring this edge over to the other side. So you can see the folded edge that we sewed is up here this side but on the other side it's at the bottom so if i just zoom you in what we're going to do is align this folded edge here and i'm going to align it to where the folded edge was on the other side so this gets aligned with this edge and i'm just going to pin that in place so at the moment, you can see it's now created three panels. Then this first panel is gonna get folded on top of this and just repin that in place. And now there's one panel left and this panel is gonna go behind. And then again, clip that in place. So I know that bit might have looked a bit confusing, but basically what it is, is just all four layers have gone into that one seam. And on the other end, you can see it's kind of all folded up on here. So what we're gonna do now is take this to the sewing machine and we're just gonna sew across this seam here, making sure we capture all four layers in that one seam. And we're gonna use a zigzag stitch or any stretch stitch that you prefer. So I'm gonna use a half an inch seam allowance to sew this seam. And this is how we create the twist in the top. So I've just sewn that seam and this is what it looks like. As you can see, I used a zigzag stitch and just went over that bit multiple times to make sure it's nice and secure. That's actually the top sewn. All we have to do is now turn it right side out by literally just turning and flipping everything to the right side. And then you can see that twist at the front 
has taken shape. You might need to play around with it just to get the twist exactly how you want it to sit. I've just played around with how that twist sits and just kind of pulled it to my liking. And that is the final top. Let me show you what it looks like on. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy seeing how I sew this really easy summer crop top. It's such a simple project and it can be sewn in under 10 minutes. So it's a really easy sew if you're looking for something quick and simple to make. For all sizes, I recommend buying half a meter or half a yard of fabric and that will give you more than enough to make this project. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.